Good. Yes, yeah, so uh, uh, um, yeah, we'll talk about this in a few minutes. Hallelujah. Praise God. Amen. Happy Sunday morning to you. Yes. Feliz Domingo por la mañana. Yes. Pastor Jose and Patricia, I want to welcome you to the New Beginnings Church at a Big Bend. Yeah. Bienvenidos a la Iglesia del Nuevo Comienzo. Amen. So, Amen. you know, all we need to do is just prepare ourselves to receive. Yes. You know, anytime you have an encounter of the best kind with the uh -huh. Father, just prepare yourself to receive, you know. Yeah. You don't go in there with all this list of demands and all this want list, you know. You just get before him. He already knows. Yeah. <laughs> he already knows. Just get before him and, and, and just receive, amen. Yeah. He wants to bless you, amen. And we're going to be talking about some of this, amen. Uh, so just prepare yourselves to receive. Prepare yourself to receive lo que el Señor tenga para usted. Prepare yourself to receive what God has for you. He's got the best for you. He wants to encourage you. He wants to change you. Yes. He wants to save you. Yes. Amen. And he wants to uh, correct us, of course. Amen. And he was just wants to be a blessing. You know, when you're blessed by the best, uh -huh. because he wants you to be a blessing. Amen. You know, he didn't bless you just for you. Because, you know, he just wants you to keep it to yourself. You're supposed to go and share it with somebody else. Uh -huh. Amen. Be a blessing. You know, be a giver. Yes. <laughs> Some of us need to learn this. He, he says to give and it shall be given unto you. Amen. And we, wow, we've talked about this so many times. But you have so much to give, you know. Yeah. And we're not talking about reaching for your wallet. Uh -huh. And we're not talking about money. You have lots to give. Because we're supposed to be imitators of God. You have a lot of love to give. You have a lot of uh, smile to give. You have kindness, you have joy, you have peace, all these things we can give before we even talk about finances. So yeah. don't get all uptight. Be open to what God has for you. Amen. 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 As a matter of fact, I want you to say this. God has something for me. Amen. You have something for me. Amen. Amen. Lord, you have something for me and I want to receive it and I want to grow and glow and go for you. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> so praise God. Hallelujah. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord, for being there for us. Amen. Grab your swords, Bible, uh, children of God. Grab your swords. I've got my little one today. <laughs> this is my Bible. I have what it says I am. I have what it says I am. I do what it says I can do today. I was taught the word of God. Amen. And I've already confessed, my mind is alert, my spirit is receptive, and I'll never be the same in Jesus' name. You know what? I think uh, we saw something on uh, Facebook that shows uh, a big dog and a little dog. And, and you know, they says uh, you never know how deep you are in, in things, you know. Depends on the size. Yeah. <laughs> Just because this Bible shows real small doesn't mean there's not a big God in it. Amen. 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 So you know what? He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. And he goes with you. When you get this word of God in you, yeah. and no devil in hell is going to stand before you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. They're going to want to move. Amen. Because mm. the word of God is powerful. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. Woo. Hallelujah. Yeah. Praise God. Thank you, Lord. Uh, we've been talking about opening the new year with a bang. And you know what? Yeah. This is our last Sunday for this month. This month is just about gone. Yeah. Amen. So we want to... <laughs> yes, open this new year with a bang. Uh -huh. And you know, uh, the word Bible <clears throat> is basic instruction before leaving the earth. Right. Amen. And uh, I'm going to be talking about this too. It's about when, when we were teaching children, we had a song that we sang all the time. And it's called uh, the B-I-B-L-E. That's the book for me. Amen. And as grown-ups, we should do the same thing. The B-I-B-L-E. -B -L -E. That's the book for me. Amen. And we should be excited and joyfully opening the word. Don't yeah. say, God never talks to me and your, your, your dusty Bible is still sitting on the coffee table. Yeah. Or maybe your dusty Bible is, is, is under a stack of books. Yeah. You know, and you know your, how deep your priority is because everything else you like is on top of your Bible. Right. <laughs> and your Bible should be on top and yeah. open. Amen. Yeah. <laughs> and he, taught, he wants to talk with you. But we need to open up this new year. Yes. And Lord, what do you have for me? I yes. want to serve you. And you know, we're talking about a bang, serving God with a bang this new year uh, with, with, with excitement. Let me, let me read it to you here. With excitement, with enthusiasm, yes. Yes. rejoicing, with gladness, with passion. Now, I'm going to talk to us about 
We're the believers, okay? We're the body of Christ. Believers serving God with a passion yeah. and a smile. Yeah. Amen. Yeah. We're supposed to be imitators of God. You know, <laughs> imitators of God walk around. They should have the love and compassion of God in them. Yes. Amen. Yes. And we should lead us more. We should lead us more. I would say this. We should be the smilingest people in this world. <laughs> <laughs> the joyfulest people in the yeah, world. Amen. Yeah. Forget my grammar, okay? <laughs> we should be the most joyful, joyful. <laughs> laughing, <laughs> excited people in, yeah, in yeah. the world. Yeah. Amen. Why? Because we know our God. Amen. When you have a relationship with your God, that's Christianity. That's joyfulness. Knowing the truth because the truth is going to set you free. Amen. So we don't have to be uh, doubting and be sad and doom and gloom, you know. That's not for us. <laughs> if you know the end, we know the beginning and we know the end. And you know he's coming. Yeah. And I'm excited. Amen. Yeah. And you know why I'm excited? Because I know this is not my home. This is not my home. Heaven is my home. So Amen. we're just passing through. Amen. But while we're here, we want to be the body of Christ, uh -huh. going somewhere to happen and be yeah. a blessing to somebody. Yes. You could be that person. Oh, Amen. Yes. Woo. Right. Hallelujah. Amen. You know, you practice this one way, and God brings out a different way. <laughs> <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> so we're going to be talking about bloom, 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 uh -huh. where you're planted. Amen. Wherever God has you, bloom where you're planted. Uh -huh. <laughs> God puts you where he wants you. Bloom where you're planted means you can be happy no matter where you are. Amen. When we talk about flowers, we talk about trees, we talk about uh, cactus. Mm -hmm. You know, these plants, they don't ask where to be. Okay? Hey, you can plant your garden. Well, that's fine, you know. But I've seen uh, plants or, or, or weeds growing in cracks of concrete, yes. on the yeah. side of buildings, on the side of mountains, mm -hmm. in the desert, on yeah, the on the roof, wherever. <laughs> you know what happens is when this tree, when this seed falls on soil, yes. it'll grow. Yeah. And you know what? God has made it to where when this seed is sown in soil, it'll grow and it'll bloom. Yeah. It doesn't matter where it's at yes, or who's yes. around it or what's going on around it. It's going to bloom for God. Yeah. Amen. Mm -hmm. <laughs> this should be believers. Amen. Yeah. We should be blooming. Yeah. Glowing. <laughs> growing, glowing, and going for God. Amen. With a smile. Yeah. Amen. Happy because God has put me here. Amen. <laughs> Hey, Come on now, hey, be happy. No. We're going to be talking about, you're going to hear smile a lot, okay? So you might as well smile, and you ain't on Candy Camera. You're on God's Camera. Hey, <laughs> let, me, let me read it the way I wrote it, wrote it here. It says, flowers, trees, cactus, plants grow and bloom where God or people, you know, plant them. Yeah. So, and there's no complaints. Amen. Believers no. should be the same. No matter where, uh, no matter um, where you may be or what's around you, listen to this: the area you plant in the desert, an island, on the side of a mountain, mm -hmm. wherever, hot, cold, mm -hmm. just bloom. Yeah. Put a smile on, because yeah. you know what? When you have an encounter with Him, mm -hmm. you're gonna feel so blessed. Mm -hmm. And this blessing is going somewhere to happen. Yes. And you put a smile on your face, and you know when somebody approaches you and says, Why are you smiling so much? Oh, boy. All right. I just want to bless you. <laughs> I just had an encounter of the best kind with my Lord. Amen. And He blessed me, so I want to bless you. Amen. You know? And you sow a seed of smile, yes. you sow a seed of joy, you sow a seed of happiness and excitement, enthusiasm. You know? <laughs> You're making this choice. You you make you you choose. You know, wow. say hey, I don't have to listen to what the world has to say because no. all they got is bad news. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> I'm the good news of God going somewhere to happen right. with joy, with enthusiasm, with excitement. Yes. Amen. Yes. <laughs> Let me read it the way I wrote it. <laughs> Psalms 118:24 says, "This is the day the Lord has made. I will." 
rejoice and be glad in it. I'm going to smile. I'm going to be joyful. I know you don't want to hear it, so I'm going to say it more. <laughs> Nehemiah 8.10, the, the end part of it says, For the joy of the Lord is our strength, our strength okay. your strength. Amen? Amen. And uh, this new year and daily, smile, 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 Amen. and serve, serve, serve. You know, uh, I was talking to Pastor, Pastor Pat, and uh, we sang this song all the time. And we, we, we taught children's church for like 20, 30 or something years. <laughs> you know, and this song was always one of the best songs. It says, the joy of the Lord is my strength. 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 Amen. Amen. You know, you got to say that to yourself, you know. Sometimes you got to do that. But the joy of the Lord is your strength. So what's happening with you? If you don't have joy, if you don't have a smile, and you need an encounter with him, you need to meet, go back and meet with him and let him bless you. He's not holding back. We're not receiving. Right. We need to receive, amen? Yeah. You need to yeah. be open and receive. Yeah. You know, even if you're not confessing it, he already knows. So you might as well just get it out. Amen. <laughs> Admit it and quit it. <laughs> Hallelujah. I wonder how many people hung up when, the, when I started singing. Sir, sir, sir. You know, I think we gave, I, I was asking Pastor Patricia, I think we gave some of these out not too long ago. But it says, serve with a heart like Jesus. Serve with a smile like Jesus. Uh -huh. And it says, it's got, in the, in the other side of it, it says, serve him with all your heart and with all your soul. Uh -huh. Joshua 22, 5. Uh -huh. Amen. Joshua 22, 5. But you know what? Let's open our Bibles to our text. And our text is uh, Mark 12, 30. Amen. And we're going to read it. And we're talking about, well, let me read it first. Yeah. Amen. Amen. So Mark 12 and 30, verse 30 Mark. and 31. And thou shalt love the Lord thy God with all thy heart, with all thy soul, and with all thy mind, and with all thy strength. Yes. This is the first commandment. And 31 says, and the second is like, namely this. Thou shalt love thy neighbor as thyself. Yes. There is none other commandment greater than me. Right. Amen. Amen. Now we're going to be talking about love. And we're talking about, when we're talking about the, these scriptures, John 3.16, uh, 1 John 4.8, 4, 4, he's talking about God is love. Yes. We're talking about agape love. Yes. Amen. Agape love is God, of all the loves the Bible talks, talks about four different types of love. Agape love is the highest. Yes. And that's unconditional love. Yeah. That's the kind of love, you know, John 3, 16, for God so loved the world, agape wow. love, Amen. that he gave yeah. sacrifice his only son. Amen. This is the kind of love that we need to have when we serve God. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Hallelujah. I don't know about you, but uh, I got uh, gospel books all over me. <laughs> <laughs> the Apostle Paul. Amen. He was in prison most of his life. And guess what? He still... The prison was not in him. He wrote two thirds right. of the New Testament uh -huh. while he was in prison. Amen. So you know, just because don't limit yourself. Don't let the people. Don't let the world limit you. Amen. I want to give you. Well, I told you I had a handout for you. Hey, use your smile to change the world. Mm -hmm. People, don't let the world or people change your smile. Yes. Amen. Amen. Don't let them change your ways. Don't let them change your life. Mm -hmm. But you can change this because you have the greater one to share with them. Yeah. Amen. Amen. And amen. you can change that. Woo, hallelujah. I'm preaching better than amen in here. <laughs> <laughs> A well educated man, full of God, happy and content, smiling, smiling for God. Amen. Happy. You know, hey, your past is gone. Yes. That was a that, that was a, a, a lesson to learn, right. not a life sentence. Right. Okay, so don't get hooked up and don't get imprisoned by the, your past, but let it go. Amen. It yes. was just a lesson that was showing a life lesson. Amen. Yes. 
The body of Christ, the church, us, we got to learn this. We're the body of Christ, not yeah. this building. That's right. Or wherever you visit, wherever yeah. you go to have services, this assemble. Do not forsake the assembling of yourselves yeah. together. That's right. Amen. The, the body of Christ, the church, us, not denominations. Uh -huh. Okay? We, we ain't got denominations and all this, but we're brothers and sisters in Christ. Amen. God's church, believers, we have confessed Jesus Christ as Lord and Savior. Mm -hmm. uh, you can open your Bibles. We're going to be talking about 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Mm -hmm. uh, let's see. We're going to be there for a couple of scriptures. 1 Corinthians chapter 12. I love this one. You can also find it in Romans, but uh, 1 Corinthians chapter 12 and verses 27 through 31. I'm going to read it first from the King James, and then I'm going to read it from um, another translation here. Okay, 27. And ye are the body of Christ, and members in particular. 28. And God has said some in the church, first apostles, secondarily, prophets, thirdly, teachers, after that miracles, then gifts of healing, helps, governments, diversities of tongues. 29. Are all, pro are all apostles? Are all prophets? Are all teachers? Are all workers of miracles? Yeah. Have all the gifts of healing? Yeah. Do all speak with tongues? Do uh, all interpret? Yeah. But covet earnestly yeah. the best yeah. gifts, and yet show I unto you a more excellent Amen. way. Amen. 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 Hallelujah. Amen. Let me read it to you from this translation. You are the body of Christ. That's who you are. <laughs> you need to grab this. <laughs> you're a body of Christ. You know, if you belong to the body of Christ, you're somebody special. Amen. He says he never leaves you nor forsakes you. He's with you. You can go and visit with him all the time. Mm -hmm. It says, you must never forget this. <laughs> you must never forget this. If you mingle with the world, if you get in the world, if, if, if you don't fellowship, you're going to forget about all this. Yeah. So don't forget this. Remember, we got to renew ourselves. Mm -hmm. Amen. And as you accept your part as the body, does the part means anything, you're familiar with some of the parts that God has given his church, which is his body, apostles, prophets, teachers, miracle workers, healers, helpers, organizers, those who pray in tongues. Christ's church is a complete body. Amen. It's not all apostles, it's not all prophets, it's not all miracle workers, not all heal or healers, not all prayers in tongues, not all interpret of tongues. And yet some of you compete for so-called important parts. Yeah. Listen to this, I wrote this. Big or small part, God has planted you where he wants you. Don't compete, but complete one another as a body works in unity. Amen. You complete one another. You don't put nobody down. You raise them up. Yeah. You encourage them. Amen. Yeah. And that's us. We're the body. Amen. Some of us are different levels of maturity. But you don't never put nobody down. Amen. Yeah. You encourage them and you raise Amen. them up. You pick them up. Amen. And this is what we need to do. And says the body works in unity. This physical body works in unity. You don't see any of these parts fighting against each other. If that was the case, we wouldn't be around anymore. Mm -hmm. Amen. God set you and gifted you, anointed you, and called you to do your best. So we need to do our best to honor him. So just go back one page to verse 18, where you were. Uh... 1 Corinthians chapter 12. Just go back to verse 18. <clears throat> and verse 18 says, But now that God set the members, every one of them, the body, as it pleased him. So every part of this body, God has placed it, has placed it where he wants. Amen. Amen. Where he wants it. And let me read it from you here. 1 Corinthians 12, 18. God has uh, set the members, each one of them, in the body just as he pleased. But our bodies have many parts, but God has placed each part uh, where he wants it. Yeah. God put the parts in the body as he wanted them. 
he made a place for each one. So God put every part, every different part in the body just as he wanted it, big or small. You may be an in, 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 inward part, <laughs> or you may be an outward part. You may be a big part or a small part. The main thing is you, in, in Colossians, says about when you do something in serving God, do it as unto him right. yes. and not unto people. Yes. We're pleasing God and not people. Amen. Amen. We're fulfilling our mission by serving him. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. So we don't go around competing and going around saying, well, what do you do for God? <laughs> and this is all you do? Yeah. And we start competing yeah. and not completing. Mm -hmm. So we need to remember, whatever it is that you do, do it as unto him. Yes. And when you do that, your mission is going yeah. to be complete. Yes. And He's going to bless you. Amen? Amen. So bloom where you're planted. Bloom yeah. where God sets you. Too many people live negative oh. and discouraged because they don't like where they are. Oh, boy. You know what? When you don't have God in your life, <laughs> you're going to be discouraged. Yeah. Automatically, you're going to uh -huh. be discouraged. They don't like their jobs. They don't like their careers. They spend all their life oh, geez. in a job, in a career they never liked mm. and retired from it. Amen? So you got to be careful. You don't like where you are in life. Dang it. You're not where you uh, where they want to be, always complaining, always competing, always fighting, being negative, always wanting to be elsewhere and doing <laughs> something else. The key thing is bloom where you're planted. Yeah. Amen. Amen? Bloom where you're planted. And you know what? Promotion's coming. Yeah. When promotion comes, He's going to promote you to something else. Yeah. And Lord, yeah. I'm here, and I want to do the best I can for you. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Yeah. And do it under him. He's going to promote you. Mm -hmm. And you know what? I don't know why I'm doing this. Your boss comes and tells you. I don't know why I'm doing this, you know, because I've got other favorite people <laughs> over you. But I'm going to promote you. I wonder why. <laughs> Thank you, Lord. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you, Lord. Yes. The favor of God. Yes. Hallelujah. Amen. <laughs> Waiting till everything gets good before you can put a smile on your face. Oh. Before you can have a winning attitude, a positive mm. attitude, a right attitude. Mm. Be the best you can be now. now. That smile you lost, that smile that you put away, mm. <laughs> take it out and put it back on your face. Mm. Give your frown a break. <laughs> <All right. laughs> Come on now. <laughs> I'm preaching this to myself, so anyway. <laughs> you listening to it, aren't you? <laughs> Listen. This is right underneath that. Smile will make you a better witness for God. <coughs> People will approach you more <laughs> if you have a smile on your face than a frown. If you have a frown, they won't even want to come close to you. All right. <laughs> <laughs> so be contagious, you know. Let that love of God, yeah, that agape yeah. love, unconditional love, just go mm -hmm. all over them, you know. Yeah. You know why you got to be all uh, full of the word? So you can give out of the overflow. Yeah. Out of your innermost being shall flow rivers of living water. Amen. Yeah. So you want to bless them with this living water of God. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Smiles attracts people. Smiles should, shows the love, the compassion. Remember John 3, 16, 1 John 4 and 8. The agape love. The yeah. unconditional love. For God so loved the world. Mm -hmm. Amen. The, oh, well, I've got it here. I don't want to say it. Well, I'll say it anyway. <laughs> Do you think Jesus wanted to leave heaven a perfect place to come to this earth? <laughs> you know, Father calls the Son and says, Son, let's have a meeting. <laughs> See, I'm going to send you to earth, <laughs> and I'm going to sacrifice you so I can get my people back. Yeah. Did Jesus have a choice? He says, okay, Father, I agree. <laughs> so he came. To be sacrificed. He left the perfect heaven to come to a corrupt world. Yes, amen. amen. So we have nothing to complain about. <laughs> He's our greatest example. Yes, he is. Hallelujah. Amen. So smile. <laughs> Frowns distract people. Nobody wants to be around you. You say, well, nobody ever wants to be around me. <laughs> well, I wonder why. <laughs> I can see why. 
<laughs> you got to put on Jesus, you know. Yeah. You got to put on Jesus. You got to put on that whole armor of God. I mean, you got yeah. it on you. A, sm a smile comes with it. <laughs> Believers should be the best smilers or smile the most. <laughs> oh, the happiest people on earth. Yeah, the happiest people on earth. What's his yeah. name? Uh, um, Shakarian. Yeah, Demi Demis. Demi, yeah. We should be the happiest, smiling people on earth. And people should be coming to us because they see, they see Jesus in us. Yeah, you know, yeah. people they walk up to you. I don't know about you. People walk up to you and says, "I don't know what it is about you, but I just feel this attraction to you. I just feel, I just feel God in you. I just, you know, they can they can sense that. You know, yeah. it's a spiritual battle." The Bible talks in Galatians, sorry, uh, the, the flesh and the spirit fight all the time. Yeah. Amen. Right. Well, which one you feed the most is going to dominate. Yeah. Amen. Amen. Mm -hmm. So get your stack of books, put the Bible on the top. <laughs> <laughs> be good, be kind. Even if they're not good and kind. Yeah, yeah. They were not good and kind to Jesus. He says, what they've done to me. They'll yeah. do it to you. Amen. But we need his joy and we yeah. need his strength. Amen. Yeah. So that we can know how to confront this, yeah. how to put up with this. Mm -hmm. Be good, yeah. be kind, even when they're not good and kind. Uh -huh. Be grateful yes. for you living, even if it's not where you want to be. Yeah. Nothing in life happens to us, it, but it happens for us. Amen. Keep it right, positive smiling attitude. When things happen to us, instead of mm. having a bad attitude or complaining attitude, mm -hmm. our attitude should be, God, <laughs> I may not like this, but I know I'm here in your divine plan. Amen. 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 Yes. You know, Jonah find himself in the, in the belly of a whale mm -hmm. or a belly of a fish. Yeah. <laughs> you may not like where you are now, but Lord, I, I, I know I'm in your divine plan. Amen. Paul and Silas in prison. Mm. Paul in prison writing books of the Bible. Amen. Still, you know, I know I'm in your divine plan. You think he would have been in this divine plan? He would have wrote two-thirds of the Bible? Oh. I don't think so. New Testament. New Testament, yes. You would not have allowed it unless you would get something from it. Yes. It may not feel good, but it's allowing me to grow, be all that you've created me to be. These storms of life are maturing me. Yes. You don't know where I've been. So, you know, <laughs> don't just somebody up here talking. Uh -huh. Because you don't know what they, where they've been. Amen. 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 Don't judge anybody. We're not called to judge. That's right. Amen. We're just called to share the word. Amen. You don't know what they've been. You don't know what God has brought them through. Amen. Amen. So we're not we're not to go there. Amen. We're always trying to get somewhere else to be happy. The grass is greener on the other side. <laughs> Blue where you are. Plant a seed of uh, a smile of joy of kindness for God to do something new in your life mm -hmm. or someone else. Mm -hmm. Amen. Brighten up somebody's day by mm -hmm. being a blessing. Amen. Amen. You know this day is not just about you for God so loved the world. There's people out there. You know what? <laughs> if you don't know by now everywhere you go there's people. Yeah. And how do you minister? You know what ministry is? Mm -hmm. People. Because <laughs> yeah. everywhere you go there's People. people. <laughs> And you're the good news, and you're the blessing with a smile going somewhere to happen for somebody. Mm -hmm. Amen. Woo, hallelujah. Amen. Come on now. Be a blessing. Remember, you're blessed by the best. Yes. And he blesses you to be a blessing. Yes, he does. Be God's best where you are now, mm -hmm. on the way to where you're going. Amen. Amen. Wherever he has you now, just be happy. Yeah. Amen. To where I'm going. You know where I'm going? I'm going to heaven. Mm -hmm. Do you know where you're going? Mm. Amen. Amen. I'm going to heaven. Mm -hmm. I'm on my way to heaven singing victory. <laughs> Put a smile on your face. <laughs> Put a pep in your step. Get the pep in for Jesus. Remember the pep rallies? Oh, yeah. We give it all with a smile. A pep rally. 
with Jesus before you go into the world, the game of life. Mm. Amen, man. We used to have pep rallies before every game. Yeah. yeah. Well, you know what? Lord, there's a game out there, Lord. Mm. I need your strength. I need you, Lord, before I go out into the world. Mm -hmm. And get yourself yeah. fired up. Yeah. Get yourself stirred up. Nobody going to stir you up. Get yourself stirred up before you hit that door. Amen. Amen. Before you go anywhere else. Amen. Get your pep rally going with Jesus. Here y'all have the best pep rallies with Jesus. Amen. Amen. <laughs> Get stirred up for Jesus. Be a winner yes. for Jesus and put a smile on. Amen. Jesus' team never loses. That's right. You're on a winning team. Yes. Remember the word team? Yeah. Together, yeah. everyone achieves more. more. Man. We work together in unity yes. Amen. as a body of Christ. You know, well, this denomination is doing this. That denomination is doing this. We're the body of Christ yes. together, yes. bringing people to reconciliation, yes. bringing people yes. to Christ. Amen. Bringing people to salvation, to yes. the greater one. Amen. Ooh, come on now. <laughs> Being loving even when they're unlovable. Mm -hmm. Being good when they're not good. Being yeah. kind yes. when they're rude. You know, one of the biggest things happening now is, <laughs> what do you call it, a road rage. Oh, <laughs> you get anywhere, drive anywhere, you know, there's road rage going on everywhere. Mm. Be grateful where you are, even if it's not where you want to be. Yes. Jesus, our greatest example, this is why I wrote it, left heaven, a perfect place to come here. Mm -hmm. We have nothing to complain about. Yes. Have an attitude of gratitude, say, <laughs> Lord Jesus, you showed me the best example. Just be happy no matter what. Do you think on a daily basis that everything was just perfect? Mm -hmm. He had to go meet with the Father mm -hmm. and have some pep rallies with his Father yes. and say, I need you. I need you, Father. I need you. I need your strength. Just to press on. Just to go on. Yes. You know, we need to do the same thing. If yes. Jesus Amen. showed us what to do, we need to continue doing it. Amen. Yes. Amen. Nothing in life is just happening to us. It's happening for us. Keep the right yeah. attitude. God will guide and God will provide. Yes. Yeah. Amen. We know this. And here's one thing that we need to do on a daily basis as often as possible. First Peter 5, 7. Cast all your cares on him. Yeah. You know, all this trash tries to come on you, oh, attract yeah. to you. You know, uh, worries, doubts, cares, unbelief. All these things, uh, fake friends, <laughs> yeah. bad friends, bad habits, bad things, all these things try to get on you and weigh you down. Yeah. And when you try to deal with it by yourself, you're no match to the enemy. Right. You're no match to the world. Renew your mind. Uh -huh. Feed on the word of God and yeah. cast these things on him. He says, cast them. Don't just give them to me. He says, cast them on him. I mean, throw them at me. Yeah. Give it to him. Yes. And then yeah. so that we can... We are made to succeed. We are made to win. But these things are going to try to stop you. Amen? <laughs> that person that's hard to get along with, he's not happening to you. He's happening for, for you. you. God is using them to grow you up. <laughs> yeah. You are developing character. You're maturing spiritually. Get out of the flesh and get into the spirit. Uh, growing and maturing. Learn to be Christ-like, imitating him daily in life. Ephesians, let's go to Ephesians. Depends on what translation you have, but Ephesians uh, chapter 5. Verses 1 and 2. Uh, chapter, chapter 5, Ephesians chapter 5, verses 1 and 2 says, Be ye therefore followers of God as your children, and walk in love as Christ also walketh in love, and hath given himself for us an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling savor. Amen. Amen. But we are, other translation says, that we are to be 
imitators of God. Amen. Amen. We're to be his imitators. So yeah. if you're going to imitate, you can't go <laughs> meet with him or assemble yourselves, go to church, assemble yourselves together and walk out like nothing happened. Oh, man. If you come and receive, you're going to change. If you get in the Word of God and have encounters with Him and have pep rallies with Him, you're going to change. Yeah. If you're not changing, then you need to get saved. <laughs> you need to get saved because uh, you're not letting Him in and ain't nothing happening, you know. And uh, so anyway, uh, here we go. This is the, um, this is the, uh, NIV. Mm -hmm. The NIV, Ephesians 5 and 1 and 2 says, Therefore be imitators of God as their children. Amen. And walk in love as Christ also has loved us and given himself for us, an offering and a sacrifice to God for a sweet smelling aroma. Amen. So we're to be his imitators. Yes. I imitate Christ. <clears throat> And if you're not imitating him, and you're walking around with a frown all the time, oh you either need to get more encounters with him uh. or get saved. Uh. Yes, because you really should have, be an imitator of Christ, you should have, you, we should be, believers should be uh, the happiest people, mm. smiling as people everywhere you go. <laughs> Amen. Amen. <laughs> be happy. <laughs> Women are winning too. We should be happy. We should be smiling. <laughs> yes. Therefore, this uh, translation says that a new, new King James says, Therefore, be imitators of God as dear children, yeah. and walk in love as Christ also, also loved us and has given himself for us, and offering and sacrifice to God for a sweet smell and aroma. Amen. So believers walking in agape love uh -huh. should be smiling. Agape love means unconditional mm -hmm. love. Amen. Yeah. Hallelujah. And uh, we're going to close it here. But yeah. 1 John 4 and 8 says, Who does not love does not know God. For God is love. Yeah. Agape love. Yeah. Unconditional love. Yeah. Yeah. Somebody, you know, he sacrificed his own son. Mm -hmm. And uh, John three sixteen, For God so loved the world that he gave his only begotten son, that whoever believes in him should not perish. Uh, but have everlasting life. Agape yes. love. God uses difficult people. I close with this. Mm. <laughs> God uses difficult people like sandpapers uh -huh. to rub the roof off yeah. of you. Wow. Yeah. You got to get that roof off wow. of you, okay? Hey, you know, like sitting on the potter. Uh -huh. he, he's the potter and we're the clay. And he's <laughs> rubbing on us and oh. taking them roof spots off, mm. taking them cracks away. Mm. <laughs> Redoing some things. Mm -hmm. Ooh, hallelujah. Mm -hmm. God uses difficult people, hard, tough, challenging, demanding people, mm -hmm. trying people. And here it says, a little closer with this. Amen. I can do all, all things Christ. through Christ who strengthens me. Amen. I can do all Lord. things through Christ who strengthens yes. me. So just remember this. This is a new year. It's time to serve him with yeah. a smile. Yeah. Not only do uh, Close, I mean, open in the new year with a bang, with excitement, yeah. with enthusiasm, with joy, uh -huh. with gladness. He says, rejoice. I give you a day. Every day I give you a new day. Uh -huh. He says, rejoice and be glad in it. Yeah. It's a new day to serve him and be excited in serving him. Yeah. You say, oh, man, I don't want to go there. You know the kind of people that live there? You know yeah. the kind of people that go there? We always, if, if, <laughs> you know, no matter where you go, you can't get away from people. Amen. <laughs> <laughs> so you change yeah. <laughs> so God can use you yeah. and then maybe you know if you show up and people run maybe we need to look in the mirror <laughs> and say Lord I, I need to deal with me and Lord says yeah I know <laughs> he already knows <laughs> so we got to change us and be Christ like before we go anywhere to happen amen well, praise God. I hope that blessed you and blessed me. Yeah. <laughs> and uh, praise God. Hallelujah. Yeah. Hallelujah. If you're listening and you haven't accepted Christ this year, now's the time. You know, get on the winning team. Get on God's winning team. He wants uh -huh. to use you. And he's called to you and he wants to use you. So just yes. say, Lord, I've come short. 
I, uh, I've sinned against you. I repent, and I could, uh, I receive you as my Lord and Savior. Amen. Amen. Just get to a Bible-based church where they teach the Word of God. Amen. Amen. Yes. <laughs> and get yourself learning and growing and glowing yes. for God. Amen. Because yes. He wants yes. to use you. He's called yes, you, he and He wants to equip you to do what He's called Amen. you to do. Amen. So praise God. Amen. Hallelujah. Hallelujah.